In the previous video, we had learned how to load an external JSON file using AJAX. We had also learned some basic concept of AJAX. Now it's time to see the real time use cases of JSON. JSON is used in many domains such as multiple websites, Android and iOS applications, REST APIs, and databases, and many more. Alright, now to show you how JSON works in real world, let's implement one API of pdf.co provided by ByteScout. pdf.co provides many APIs to manipulate PDF document. From them, let's implement this API which load detailed information about PDF document such as its property and its metadata information and security permissions in browser console using this cloud API. Okay, so this is the endpoint of this API. Then next, we need to set the registered API key in the request header. And then we need to set this URL which points to the PDF file. Now let's open this URL. Okay, so this is the PDF file for which we invoke pdf.co API. And that API will access this PDF's property and metadata information and security permissions. So let's see that API in action. Okay, so the request we need to send asks for the PDF's property such as who is the author of that PDF, what is the title of that PDF, so on and so forth, along with flags asking for a JSON formatted response. And the request we need to send will look like this. Let's try to understand it one by one. First, we set the registered API key in this variable which we will set in the request header okay and then we set url which points to the pdf file which we have already seen and then we prepare our input parameter object which contain above url this object we will use in the send method when we invoke this api and then to invoke our api using ajax first we need to create this xml http request object and set the required parameter in its dot open method. We have already understood the meaning of each and every parameters in the previous video. So let's not go in the detail over here. Okay, and this is our API endpoint. Okay, then we set our API key in the request header using set request header of XHR object. Okay, and then we use this send method with our stringified parameter object which actually execute the entire process and invoke our api and in between this we create a function that waits for the data to load successfully and once we get the data in api response and just to see if everything works i will preview the json object in the browser's console using this javascripts console.log method. So now let's run this page. And as we know that to run this page, I need to right click on this page and select this option. And here we go. Our left hand side browser contain the PDF file for which we invoke pdf.co API. And right hand side browser contains our API's JSON formatted response. Our actual data is resided in this info object. So let me expand this info object. And here you can see the PDF property such as who is the author of this PDF file, when this PDF file is created and how many pages this PDF is contained. So as you can see that this PDF contain only one page. And these are the permission related properties of this PDF. And here is the title of this PDF which you can see over here. So now in the next video, we will see some of the common mistakes which developer may do when working with the JSON data and we'll see how to handle the same. So stay tuned for the next video.